Good evening, myself and Prost. It is Monday, June the 26th, June the 20th. Fuck, I'll do that again. Good evening, myself and Prost. It is Monday, June the 25th of June 2012. This year it is, and today I got banned from Facebook for three days. I can still use the inboxes and shit. That's the only thing I actually can do, but I've been banned from posting, liking, and commenting on anything. Um, which was funny because what happened is I got invited to this event and I didn't want to go to the event, so I clicked decline, and then a box comes up saying, okay, so write why you're not going, so I'm like, okay, so I wrote, fuck that, that's actually what I wrote, and then it just says, you can't write shit, man, why would you invite me to write shit if you won't let me? But yeah, I'm off for three days, which is really disappointing considering there was a gig last night and people love gig videos, so I couldn't post a gig video on Facebook because I can't post shit on Facebook. I had Connor to post it for me. Um, pretty sure he said something along the lines of, Marsha has been banned from posting, so here you go, and then he posted the link. Also, when I say along the lines of, I say, I'm reading the actual post. So the reason why I did get um, banned is because I run a page along with this other admin, Chris, called Australia, the only country where lying down can be illegal. We currently sit at 68,000 likes and we um, have the intent to offend as many people as possible. Chris, the other admin, who I employed just by saying first person to comment gets admin, he's doing a fantastic job because, you know, he got us banned. Um, he said something, I'm not really sure what it was, but it got reported at such a rate that um, people, you know, destroy us. So, both of our accounts have been suspended for three days. That is fantastic. Luckily for me, I don't really give a shit because it's Facebook and who cares. But anyway, um, here's some of the reactions that we get from the the shit that we post here. Let's just let's just have a look. Okay, here we, here we go. Um, I can think of something funnier than your jokes. Australia? I, I don't know why they just posted the word Australia in there. It doesn't really uh, make any th sense. Waiting for you to have the guts to show your true identity. Dot 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 dot. And then wait for the punchline. Ha ha, now that would be funny. You are a fuckwit. Interesting. And then, directly after that, he just said, I'm gonna find you, and then we'll see who's laughing then. Now, the thing that I cannot pretend that has not perplexed me is that many people think that uh, you cannot unlike pages. He's a, like, unlike pages. Okay, let's just go to the pit FM. Um, this is a radio station that does not work on my computer because my computer is shitty. Um, what you have to do is go to uh, liked, you have to click that, and if that doesn't work, it, it won't work because I just didn't do it right. You click on this, and then down here, unlike, uh, and then you click that, and all of your problems shall be solved. Another concept people have seemed to fail to grasp is that once they have discovered the unliking feature that Facebook has provided for people like yourself, is that you don't really have to announce it, like there isn't a special comment that you have to say, like unliking or something, that just do that doesn't activate it, or that doesn't A, affect anyone, or B, unlike it, you actually have to click unlike before you do anything, don't do anything, just if you're stupid enough to write unlike on a, on a thread, then you might as well just stop doing things in general. Okay, so on my Canon EOS uh, 550D, I have a certain software called Clean Your Fucking Lens Jack. It's really dirty. On my EOS, it has a, a software called Magic Lantern on it, which is for filmmakers that use EOS cameras. Now, you'll notice some strange things about it. We have audio levels up the top. We have a histogram on the side. We have some information up the top. And we have this weird stuff. Um, what is this, you might ask? Well... Check this shit out. It's mainly used for green screening, so I just got this this uh, green slab and put it on my monitor, and that will be acting as my green screen for today. Now you notice that it's not perfect. 
on screen because you know it's L L LCD. Jesus. So this is slight curvature in the line, but the more you zoom in, the less noticeable that is. So you'll notice that that's almost perfect. Now I want to see how dodgy my real green screen setup actually is. I know it's pretty crap because I don't have any professional lighting and I just use the walls to diffuse the light and if I don't do that then it's just a shower curtain that I throw over my lights. So I'm about to set that up and see how dodgy I actually am. So I have my lights set up. One's there, one's there, one's there, and one's there. However, looks reasonably well done. However, what will it be like through black magic? Now is when we find out. So there are a few creases along there, but not much we can do about that. Um, looks pretty miserable actually on the scale. Hmm. Okay, so I filmed some stuff. You'll notice that there are some extreme shadows on each side. That's just because um, don't really have fill lights, just have two key lights and two background lights. Oh well, we'll see what we can do here. So, gonna go into the um, event effects. I'm using Sony Vegas because I'm too poor to afford anything else. Uh, Sony Chroma Key. -er. And let's just see what we can do with this. So first off, we're just going to go into the color section. And we're going to select something in between this and that. So we're going to go here, which is that color. So let's go with that. We'll turn it on, see how it is instantly. Right off the bat, it's actually not too bad. Let's just see if we can get any better by uh, simply showing the mask, which means I will be completely white and the background will be completely black which is what we're aiming for and we're going to adjust that by doing the high and low threshold so I'm going to do something like that we've reached this far um, this is actually looking pretty good except for the fact that there's this bit down here and then there's this bit up there that was the um, little that was the light in the background so actually that's really bad um, that shouldn't happen. Oh, I think I know what that is. Let's, let's experiment with this. Okay. Let's go outside and go into the room. So, 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 the green screen went here. That's this. This is a hazard. We should remove this before using it next. Anyway, back into the editing suite. Um, that seems to be the only problem. Um, there's a bit down the bottom here that gets in the way a bit, but we can just apply a second effect just for that. The focus is really dodgy too, you'll notice, but that will be solved if I have A, a camera operator, or B, um, a monitoring system. Well, no, I had a monitoring system, it's just that I didn't want to set it up because I'm lazy. But anyway, um, we'll just stop that. You'll notice it's rather harsh for the focus. So to match the focus up with the blur amount is 0.021. That kind of fits nicely. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, that looks fine, I guess, kind of.